Hi everyone please check Iraq RV latest news updates. An economic expert says that the central bank eliminated 70% of dollar transactions in the Iraqi market, noting that this is the result of the policies followed by the bank's governor, Ali al Alik, throughout a year of assuming responsibility, as he began restricting dollarization. Nabil Jabbar al Tamimi, economic expert for the 964 network. Since central bank governor Ali al Alik assumed the position, he has been working on a policy of ending dollarization. What is meant by dollarization here is to end excessive dealings with the US dollar, which Iraqis have used since 2003 as the primary currency to pay for most purchases in the market. The senior leadership in the central bank believes that this excessive dealing in the dollar threatens the reserve of the American currency, in addition to the continued fluctuation of its prices locally. The central bank's policy has now eliminated 70% of dollar transactions in the Iraqi market, and the remaining 30% is linked to the issue of remittances abroad within the framework of the banking sector, especially those heading to Iran, then Lebanon and Syria. There are people within the central bank who may work to obstruct the implementation of the bank's policies, which has caused the significant rise in the value of the dollar. And the financial advisor to the Prime Minister, Maza Mohammad Saleh, explained in detail the importance of Iraq joining the BRICS group, stressing the necessity of this step for the future of sustainable development and the progress of Iraq's economy. Saleh said, in a press statement, the BRICS group is an international economic grouping between governments that includes Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, where the origin of the name BRICS goes back, which was launched in the year 2001 by the economic expert in the group. Goldman Sachs Financial, Jim O'Neill, to describe the fast-growing economies that are expected to collectively dominate the global economy by 2050. He added, Iraq announced its desire to join the BRICS group, as there is an objective basis related to the connections of the Iraqi economy with the markets of the BRICS group itself, as it reflects the current account of the Iraqi balance of payments with the countries of that economic group, which includes the strongest emerging markets in the world, noting that there is a direct dependence on the BRICS group of countries on an important percentage of Iraq's oil exports, which are no less than 55% especially the countries of India and China. He explained, approximately 70% of Iraq's imports are currently made with the BRICS countries themselves, which means that the commercial partnership and Iraq's strong economic interests automatically push towards international economic cooperation with our country's commercial partners, especially in the issue of looking towards broader areas in the flow of the group's investments, and obtaining benefits for joining in order to serve the future of sustainable development and economic progress in our country. He pointed out that the BRICS group currently occupies about 27% of the world's land area and 42% of the world's population, as Brazil, Russia,
countries India, China, and Russia are considered potential emerging great powers, while all five countries in the BRICS group are also members of the G20, which includes the United States of America and the rest of the G7. Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani earlier confirmed Iraq's readiness to join the BRICS group if it received an invitation from the founding countries. And the Parliamentary Finance Committee called for controlling the dollar exchange rate, stressing the importance of following up on measures related to economic affairs and automating taxes as they are the basis of money and the economy. The media department of the House of Representatives said in a statement, the Finance Committee was held under the chairmanship of Atwan al Atwani and in the presence of members of the subcommittee Central Bank and Banking Committee today, Sunday, October 15, 2023, to discuss the report prepared by the subcommittee on the procedures of the central bank and private banks as well as policy. Cash in the country. She added, Atwan al Atwani stressed during the meeting held at the committee's headquarters the importance of following up on all measures related to economic affairs and automating taxes as they are the basis for money and the economy. In addition to creating a practical and realistic study by the committee in implementation of the supervisory role, to maintain financial and banking stability, as well as mechanism for dealing with monetary policy. She continued, at the same time, the committee discussed the reasons for the rise in the exchange rates of the dollar against the dinar and the necessity of controlling the labor market and putting it on the right track, as the committee stressed the importance of activating the private sector and inviting investors and merchants to listen to relevant opinions and proposals. The Finance Committee listened, according to the statement, to the report of the Subcommittee on the Policy of the Central Bank and Private Banks, conducting an evaluation of the dealing management and the bank's tasks in financial trading, and developing confrontation packages and challenges facing monetary policy, to control exchange rates, in addition to the issues of granting loans and the housing initiative. Thanks take care.